So Nintendo's official E3 site has just gone live, and it's very, very Zelda. Okay, so unfortunately we don't really get anything particularly new on this page, but we'll go through it together anyway and see what we can find. First off, the website loads with this mysterious Sheikah symbol. Seriously, what's the deal with this thing? They're emphasising the Sheikah eye so much recently. We'll get back to analysing this new symbol thing later. Next, we see the E3 footage of Hyrule Field, but this time we finally get a decent loop of it. You don't know how long I spent masking out Aonuma to get a loop of this, so I'm very thankful we finally have this. Since it's just the E3 footage, there's nothing new, but it's lovely to just watch and relax. The words, step into a world of adventure, are pasted in the trademark Zelda font at the top, which is a lovely reminder of the open world adventure that this game promises to be. We can scroll down to reveal information about Nintendo's E3, namely that they will transform their booth to immerse fans in the groundbreaking new Zelda, that Nintendo's E3 event starts at 9am Pacific time on the 14th of June with an in-depth look at the game, including gameplay and behind the scenes info about the game. We get yet another logo for Zelda Wii U, but still with no name. Interestingly, it appears to have a different font for The Legend Of. And then finally, they announce a competition to win a trip to E3 and play Zelda. I got so hyped about this until I realised it doesn't include the UK. So unfortunately, no chance of Zelda for me. We have an interesting scrolling background here, which reminds me strongly of wind patterns for some reason. Maybe the game has some sort of emphasis on the wind, like Wind Waker did. Okay, so by looking at the page's source code and using a Chrome plugin to download the video from the site, I've pulled a pretty neat 30 second loop of Hyrule Field, very nice HD but annoyingly selective clips from past trailers, and most importantly the new Sheikah Eye logo. Now, you look at that, and tell me it doesn't remind you of Timeshift Stones. I was a little unsure before, but now I'm almost 100% convinced that they're trying to hint at a strong presence of these mysterious stones in the new game. Some timeshift stones from Skyward Sword even have the Sheikah eye on the front. From the HD clip of the November footage, we can even more clearly see the little lever-like part of the tablet here, and get a better look at Link's face, which looks disturbingly different from the recent artwork. Another small interesting thing to note is that Link is always referred to in the page source as Hero rather than Link. For instance, this file is called BG Hero, standing for Background Hero. I'm not sure whether that's anything important, but I thought it was worth a note. We also get this strange blue symbol string here. It was pointed out by my friend Vortexy Gaming that it's very similar to the writing on the Tower of the Gods, which is also covered in symbols similar to the ones surrounding the Sheikah Eye. If this is a possible connection, it's definitely a weird one. What do you think of the E3 site? Is it getting you more hyped for the final reveal in June? Leave it in the comments below, and go check out the site. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.